What's the relationship between Israel and the suppression of indigenous groups in these countries? Let's have a look. South Africa's apartheid regime. Yep, Israel sent weapons to the apartheid regime in South Africa. The alliance involved the supply of arms, military training, and even potential offer of nuclear warheads from Israel to the regime, despite international sanctions and embargoes against South Africa during the apartheid era. Latin American paramilitary training. Israel's involvement in training paramilitary groups like the Colombian AUC has raised concerns about human rights violations. Arms trade in Sri Lanka. Israel's supply of weapons and military technology to Sri Lanka during the 29-year civil war played a role in killing tens of thousands of civilians. Israel also trained Sri Lankan troops. Support for Azerbaijan. Israel supplied powerful weapons to Azerbaijan ahead of its offensive in September 2023. Israel's arms have influenced the region's dynamics, which affected indigenous Armenians. And that's not the only threat Armenians are facing. In occupied East Jerusalem, there is an Armenian area that has been facing existential threat by Israeli policies for years. Suppression tactics in Kashmir and other areas in India. The partnership between Israel and India does not only involve sharing similar tactics in seizing lands, displacing people, criminalizing dissent, muscling journalists, and controlling people's movement, but extends to shared military strategies, surveillance tech, and repressive measures in order to suppress dissent among marginalized groups. And this isn't all. Chile, Guatemala, Argentina, Philippines, Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Mexico have all been negatively influenced by Israel. With an annual military budget exceeding $20 billion, the Israeli Defense Forces have significant cyber capabilities. The IDF ranks 17th among the world's strongest militaries, according to the Global Firepower Rankings for 2024. And Palestine isn't listed. The United States, who is founded on almost the entire extermination of their local Native American population, is ranked number one and is the biggest funder of Israel. So, it's no surprise that many indigenous or formerly colonized people sympathize with the Palestinian cause, while states that have oppressed indigenous dissidents tend to support Israel.